Ha! I'm Patrick the Kinoderm! I'm here to tell you a little bit about a kinoderms like me. There are five classes of us. Sea urchins and sand dollars. Brittle stars. Sea cucumbers. Sea stars. And sea lilies and feather stars. Echinoderms have several methods of feeding. My friend Sea Urchin Sally uses a five part jaw like structure to scrape algae from rocks. Sea Lily Lily uses two feet along her arms to capture floating plankton. My friend Sea Cucumber Carl moves like a bulldozer across the ocean floor, taking in sand and detritus. My parents and I usually feed on mollusks like clams and mussels. Once the prey shell opens, we push our stomachs out through our mouths, pouring enzymes out which digest the mollusks in its own shell. Then we pull the partially digested mollusk back into our mouths. Hi, I'm Patrick's friend Spongebob, and I am going to tell you a little bit about how echinoderms are characterized. First, they are all spiny skinned. Second, they all have similar internal skeletons. Yes, Hope, this includes respiration, circulation, and movement. It opens through a sieve-like structure called the madreporite. Oh my god! <laughs> the madreporite connects to a ring oh, so It's a circle around the animal's mouth. Oh, yeah. It's okay, Spongebob. Everybody poops. Take this away, sir. Anus. It's extremely horrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, but they don't have a highly developed nerve system, so this. When they Ow! Hey. Most also have scattered sensory cells that detect light, gravity, and chemicals released by potential prey. And it kind of derms endoskeleton, partly derms mobility. Echinoderms, 